Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is Ben of Vortex XRXP. Welcome back to another episode of this Call of Duty Custom Class series, or whatever you want to call it. I don't have a title for it. This is a series where basically I either think of a class myself, or take a class that you guys have sent me in the comments, or over Twitter, and use it in a game. And I record the first game that I use it with. So this isn't like the second game, I, I've only used this class for one game, and that's it. And th this one game is the game that you're seeing right now on screen. So, this class is a Gears of War themed class. I've been watching a lot of YouTube recently, and I've been watching a Let's Play from one of my favorite channels, uh, Sir Seamus of Halo, or SSOHPKC, or Seamus. Uh, <clears throat> he's mostly known for being part of the Creature Hub for a while, before he had to leave due to medical reasons. And he's been back now for quite a while, and one thing that he's doing is he's playing through Gears of War 4. I've been grinding out his videos, watching this game, and I'm gonna say so far I like the story of it. But this class is inspired by Gears of War. So, let's get right into the class. Primary weapon, I chose the Man of War. Why? Because I think that that is the closest thing to the Lancer that this game has. Now, granted, we're not gonna have a fucking giant-ass chainsaw to saw people in half in this game, but I like the Man of War as the Lancer because of the Lancer, if you've paid attention to it enough, you'll know that when they reload the gun, they pull on a handle that folds up against the gun. So they fold out this handle and they pull on it, and that releases the safety cage, I guess, on the clip, and then it drops out, they put a new one in, and then they push the level f lever forward, and the little, like, arm comes back up and secures the clip. Man of War has something similar to that, except instead of having one arm on the bottom to support it, it has, like, these things on the sides of the clip that lock it in place. So I thought that, that was very similar to the Lancer, and that's why I picked the Man of War. For the attachments, I put on High Caliber and Full Metal Jacket. Now, if you're a Gears fan, you know one thing, and that is, they are gritty and powerful in that universe. They don't do anything petty and weak, alright? Every Lancer is outfitted with Full Metal Jacket, armor-piercing bullets, and the point of the Lancer is to try to do as much damage as possible while keeping the weapon fully automatic. So that's why I put on FMJ and High Caliber, High Caliber, more damage towards headshots, and um, FMJ for more armor-piercing power. And also, I also put on a red dot sight, because if you look closely enough to the Lancer, it does have a little, like, circular red dot sight, and the closest thing to that was the red dot sight in this game. And I changed the reticle to be the blue sniper crosshair. Uh, reticle and I think it fits really well uh, the blue sniper crosshair reticle on this gun is very similar to the Lancer's crosshair So I was very proud of that. I think it looks really nice really ties in the fact that it's supposed to be the Lancer The secondary weapon I chose the Argus now unfortunately with the pick 10 system I couldn't pick, put any attachments on the Argus, but the most ideal thing to put on the Argus is fast mags and extended mag that's the most ideal thing to put on the Argus, but since the pick 10 system is very limited, I was only limited to just putting on the base Argus. And I put the Ash Camel on it, because the normal Argus, I feel, is too dark, it's too black, to show really show that, like, silver that the Nasher has. So I put on the Ash Camel, and I know the Ash Camel is white, but it's the closest thing to actually making the gun silver that I could do. And then finally, uh... I, when I do this series, I don't pay attention to the specialist, and I don't pay attention to the perks. So specialists and perks are not included in this, it's just strictly the guns and the weapons of the class. It's all about the weapons. So the final weapon that I have attached to this class is the frag grenade. I did not put on a tactical grenade, although I do know that in Gears of War 2 they did have a smoke grenade. But again, the pick 10 system is very limited, so I just went with a frag grenade because the frag grenade is a staple of a series, you know, Gears of War really has this staple with grenades where, you know, they're like connected with a chain and you like wind it up like a yo-yo or a rope or something and you just throw it, it's freaking awesome. 
Um, but anyways, guys, that's pretty much it about the class. Uh, I used... Okay, so about this class, I think it's a good class. This is a pretty solid class. It's not the best class, but it's not the worst either. I definitely felt like I was playing some weird hybrid between Gears of War and Call of Duty when using this class. Like, I honestly did. Like, this gun felt exactly like what the Lancer probably would be if it were in Call of Duty. Except maybe put the rapid fire attachment on, but again, the pick 10 system is a bit of a dick. So, you know, throwing rapid fire on this on top of everything that's already on it would definitely make it feel like the Lancer from Gears of War for 100% sure. Uh, and the shotgun, you know, I, the Argus has that nice, you know, when you hit fire it, he turns it sideways and then cocks the lever. Very reminiscent, almost the exact same animation as the Nasher when you fire it. So, you know, it's it's definitely have it definitely fills the bill of uh, acting as the Nasher shotgun. But anyway, guys, that has been the video. I hope you all enjoyed. Leave a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next activity. Bye bye.